Bad Gladiator, Season 1, Episode 2, For the Glory of Rome. We join ancient, home-challenged gladiator Magnus on the city streets as he and our hero Atticus walk toward the arena. It is a new day. Hey there, kid. Enjoy your first night in the barracks? Oh, not really. There's a hole in the ceiling. Water dripped on me all night. Ooh, you got the room with a skylight. Uh, Hey, if you're a gladiator, why don't you sleep in the barracks? I prefer the freedom of the open sewer. Besides, in the barracks, there's a hole in the ceiling. Is there any room in the sewer? Uh, Maybe I could try that. No, no, totally full. The location's unbelievable. Now, are you ready for your tour of the arena? Mm, Screw that. I want to pass my gladiator training. Give me the test, old man. I'm ready for the glory of Rome. Pull back on the reins there, Speedicus Maximus. Domitia says I have to train you, but I get to do it my way. Oh, I'm surprised that you have training standards. She's contractually obligated to show you around. If I can handle it for her, then later she'll let me... Oh, oh my God, stop. I don't want to hear about the weird, rich person, old people, vagrant sex you do. Then I guess you're doing things my way. For this next test, hand me your coin purse. Forget it. Congrats, you passed that test. Then stop trying to pull it off my belt. And so, the training began with a tour of the arena, hallowed ground where only the strong prevail. God, the smell. Why do people pay to come here? Maybe it's something in the water. Oh, you mean like the lead poisoning we all have? Exactly. Government puts lead in the aqueducts. Mind control plot. Can't tell me it's a coincidence. No, our plumbing is made of lead. That's why it's called plumbing. From the Greek plumbum? Yeah. We get our water from magical underground pipes. Sure, I'll believe it when I see it. Look, there's a lead pipe right there. The water is pouring into a bowl of street muck labeled coffee. Take off your lead foil hat, wacko. Now, gladiator trainee, look under your feet. Pros call this stuff sand. It looks like garbage. Oh, okay. Yeah, that thing you're standing on might be garbage. Well, wait. No, it's a beer mat. Give me that. Ooh, you're touching garbage. Shh, this is perfectly good. Look, it has a joke written on it. What do you call a general with epileptic fits? I'm starting to think my whole life is a garbage joke. What am I doing here? Julius (laughs) Caesar. I really think my brain just threw up, literally threw up inside my skull. It doesn't even have a mouth. Oof. Tough crowd. All right, fine. Let's go see some weapons. Atticus followed the peculiar old gladiator down into the bowels of the earth below the arena. Finally, real weapons. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Uh, What's this you're handing me? It's a javelin. This is a signpost. You don't know. What you're holding is a precision instrument, carved from finest oak by the most skilled craftsman this side of the Tiber. It says Ravenna 20 miles on it. Do you want a gladiator or not, kid? Oh, what kind of gladiator am I meant to be, anyway? Equus, the horse guy, Venator, the hunter? No, we have a whole new javelin base type made up for you. Get this, the Jaculator. The what? It's Latin for one who throws or casts. I know, I know that. We're speaking Latin right now, but I don't want to be the jaculator. Well, it's too late. Pompilius is putting up jaculator posters all over town with your face on them. I didn't sign up for this. Yes, you did. You signed up for exactly this. I wanted to take on dozens of men, bare-chested, grunting with the effort, and all for the glory of Rome. Sounds like a jaculator to me. I'll just keep my sword. That's not how it works, kid. This is your one shot to gladiate. It's jaculator or nothing. Fine. I'll do it, I guess, for the glory of Rome. Good man! Now, take your javelin there and practice on me. I don't want to hurt you. Come on! If you want to be a jaculator, you've got to put in the work. Now hurry up and stick your javelin into my... Hey, what, what's going on here? I wish I knew. Ooh, combat practice? Can I join you? Yeah, of course you can. You know what your mother thinks, Claudia. She thinks you should leave it to us professionals. She's also in favor of recycling poor people into towelettes. Come on, she doesn't have to know. That's your funeral. Avatus, 
Give her your sword. Uh, it's Atticus. The ooh. Naming your sword so passe. No, I'm... I... Ugh. How come she gets a sword and I get an oversized toothpick? Good question. Let's see. Raise your hand if you're the daughter of my lover who happens to be my boss and owner of this arena. Okay. Now, raise your hand if you're a low-life, plumbum conspiracy theorist who can't even appreciate a good skylight. Hey, how about that? Fine. Here, uh, be careful with it. It's got a great hand feel. Why are you holding it like that, with the point down on the ground? Yeah, this isn't golf. Sorry. I was raised wealthy. We think of everything in terms of golf. Uh, what's golf? It's a great way to ruin a neighborhood. I hold a sword my way, guys, all right? This is how I feel comfortable. Atticus, bring it on. I don't think I can fight a woman. I'm not an abusive chauvinist. If you don't fight me, you're boring and a chauvinist. And you'll fail gladiator trading. I demand that you ejaculate immediately. Very well, then. I bear you no ill will, my lady. I think your eyes are interesting, and I like the sound of your breathing, too. What? But if I must do battle with you, for the glory of Rome, then prepare to witness my ejaculation. hi -ya! hi -ya! Ouch! I cut my foot! Claudia, are you okay? Here, let me bandage your wound. Uh, there's a piece of cloth in this garbage pile. Oh, thank you, Atticus. I guess my sword style really does need work. That was the single worst battle I've ever seen. And I once fought a sewer rat for an olive pit. Oh, man. But I have good news. Atticus, you passed your gladiator training. Congratulations! I passed? How? I told you to fight her. And she's now out of commission, so you win! You're a gladiator now! I have mixed emotions. Do what I do. Push them deep, deep down inside you and bury them in a mountain of substance abuse and meaningless sex. You could try golf, too. It's it's not that fun, but it's expensive. Oh, this is not how I thought this would go down. You'd better hurry. You need to prepare for your first fight. My first battle? For the glory of Rome? When is it? Fifteen minutes. What? Fourteen minutes later, our brave warrior steps into the arena for the first time as a gladiator for the glory of Rome. Welcome, one and all, to the battle of the century. Yeah, all right. Not right. Hey, we're sitting in garbage. Your newest gladiator, Atticus the Jaculator, will do battle against the rabid wolf of Ravenna. What? Don't worry, it's only a sewer rat. Oh, I can probably handle a, a sewer rat. Release the wolf! <laughs> Those moves! I can't watch. How's he doing? The rat? He's amazing! Badass incarnate! Help me! Help! He's biting my toes off! Jacqueline isn't helping at all! I'll save you, Atticus! And so, our hero was saved. The crowd went home angry, and Domitia showed up to congratulate Atticus. Wow, you guys really pissed them off. Thanks, Thanks for saving me, Claudia. Sorry I cut your foot. Well, that's okay. At least I'm a real gladiator now. What? You want to be the jaculator? I thought for sure that would run you off. No, nope. in fact, I'm proud. For the glory of Rome. Someone's getting up there, Skylight. 